Well, I guess we might as well start out 2024 with another big reveal. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. You know what, Jessica? This just doesn't feel right. Beef? Where are we? Welcome, Welcome to, to Crocs, Crocs in the, the kitchen. kitchen. We bought a house. Yay! Yes. I know in the last video it said we were looking for a house. We were already in the in process. process. <laughs> yes. So this house actually came up when we had first gone to Columbus back in September. It hit the market and we saw it and we were like, wait a minute, this is this could be our house. But we weren't in, in you know the St. Louis area to be able to check it out. So we went ahead and we were like, you know what, if it's still there, but when we get back from Columbus after this little baby is born, um, then we'll go check it out and we'll, you know, see if it, see if we like it. Yeah. So we got back from Columbus, literally called up our real estate agent who has been helping us for a little while, you know, showing us different properties and whatnot. And, uh, and she was like, all right, yeah, we can go, we can go check out the house. Yep. So we go, we check out the house. And then we made an offer. Yeah. And, oh, sorry, girl. She, she's like, I want to be on the video. <laughs> and, yeah, so we, we made an offer on the house. And then after a bunch of back and forth and a bunch of different inspections yep. and all that kind of stuff, then late last year in 2023, we closed on the house. So yep. it's ours. This is this is our kitchen, y'all. It's very strange to have is, our own kitchen. This is our own house. <laughs> for, for the foreseeable future, this is the kitchen you all are going Yay! to see. And I can't wait to actually get started cooking in this kitchen. Yes. As you can see, Jessica's uh -huh. already brought over the toaster and the bananas. I did. I got the toaster out of storage. I was like, I have to have the toaster. Because those of you who are the OG Crocs in the kitchen fans, you'll recognize our what did you? Everyone was like, "Wow!" Yeah, everybody like it's loves from that the toaster, future. So. It's a crazy toaster, and we always had the bananas hanging in the background. So we stopped at the market on the way here and bought some bananas. We are not living at the house yet. No, we haven't moved in yet, and uh, for good reason. This house is kind of a fixer upper. Yes. It 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 is. Uh, it was built in the fifties. And it's only had two different owners. Yes. Uh, but the first group of owners, they were here for 50 plus years. Yeah. yeah. Living in this house, raising a family. Uh, we, we've actually been in contact with the grandchild of, of the, the couple that, yeah. that owned the house. Yeah. So it's crazy because uh, I saw their names come up somewhere in some paperwork because it's only had the two owners. So the previous owners oh. before the one that we bought it from were... The, the original owners who like built the house they and built stuff the house, back yeah. in the 50s and so uh i found their names and of course then i was like doing like obituary stalking i know i felt a little bit weird but i was like i'm i am so intrigued by that kind of stuff like i just love knowing the history and thinking about like what happened here and all of that and it turns out that it was like this cute couple that like raised their kids here world war ii veteran yeah and the the uh the woman was from the Netherlands originally yep. and came over to marry her sweetheart after the war and like it was just just such a just such a cool story but the crazy part was so my grandma who was named Elsie who Elsie is named after um her nickname that she made up for herself back in like middle school was Mickey and everybody called her Mickey uh well hey you making noises um slobbering a bit there she's too she's slobbering all over me it's fine uh, but the, the woman who originally lived here, her nickname was Minnie. So I thought that was like a cute little, uh, just, yeah. just thing. But we're, like you said, we're in contact with the grandson of that couple and we've been able to learn like so many stories about the people so far. We haven't even like, we've not even touched the surface of no. what we'll learn about them, which I think is so fun because we definitely want to like honor them as we, um, you know, renovate the house and stuff like that. Yeah. And we're, like, you yeah. know, Minnie's favorite flower was, uh, gladiolas. And so we're going to plant some gladiolas in honor yeah. of her. And, uh, if they don't pop up, if maybe. they don't pop, there might be some here already. And in fact, the, uh, uh, the guy who, uh, the husband, uh, was apparently an avid gardener, Yeah, had like fruit trees and stuff all over the place. He and grew asparagus. He, yeah, he, he grew like all sorts of stuff around here. And so I'm really, really looking forward to getting outside and, and building a massive garden yeah. out here where I can. 
and all that. But yeah, the, the house, once again, built in the 50s, needs a lot of love, yes. needs a lot of care, need, yes. needs a lot of renovations and whatnot. So we've already had, uh, we've already talked to a contractor, a personal friend of mine, uh, who who's gonna come in and and help us get this place to where we want it to be? Yeah. To make the house that we want to live in for the rest of our lives. But we're definitely, you know, we're we're in it for the long game. We're 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 de we're gonna make this house exactly what we want it to be. But like you said, we're just we're not we're not planning on moving again. Um, we've moved enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're done moving. Um, once we move in here, hopefully this will be our forever home. Uh, but once, you know, we can, the, unfortunately the kitchen is going to be one of the later, like phase two projects because the bathroom, uh, situation needs a little bit more attention. I think yeah. at this time, there are other projects that require immediate attention as opposed to the kitchen, which is a perfectly fine kitchen. It's just not what we specifically want for the yeah. future. And, uh, and, all, and not to mention like uh, Jessica really wants to get like new appliances and like all sorts of stuff so but we will be bringing you guys along on the yeah. stages you're gonna of, see some renovation videos of, going, uh, going especially forward. as we build the kitchen i think it'd be really cool to even have you guys be part of that like maybe if we need help making some decisions we can like pull you guys or something oh, that's a great idea um, because yeah. i feel like it would just be it would just be great for you guys to see this kitchen come to life and not only like physically but also just us you know this becoming our home and us raising our family here. Uh, so yeah, we're really excited and it's going to be just a crazy ride. Um, not something that I thought we'd be doing right now, but <laughs> here we are. Yeah, it kind of happened pretty quickly actually uh, when, when we got back from Columbus and all that, but uh, we're both very happy with the house. And I think that the, the, thing, the thing with it is that we've seen a few other houses and Jessica walked in and she was like, no, not really. She's like, I don't feel it. And she walked into this place and then she walked out and yeah, I know she's slobbered everywhere. Uh, I'll just put that back over but, there. But Jessica, Jessica walked in, we, we saw the house and it's a quirky house. We'll, ex we'll show you stuff later on and we'll give you like more of a house there's tour. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't make and, sense. Yeah. There's a lot of just weird random things in here. Cause apparently the two previous owners were very big into do it yourself projects. Yeah. There was, there was, there was a set of owners between the original owners that owned it for like a 10 to 12 year period. So there's definitely some interesting things, choices that have been made in between. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's very interesting. But uh, Jessica walked in here and I walked in here and we were both like, this place is weird. It's quirky. It's just got a lot of strangeness to it. And then we both like went out and we sat in the car and Jessica's like, I can see us living there. And I'm like, really? I'm like, I thought for sure that she was just going to be like, nope, that's nope. a hard no for this I have, house. I have, but, uh, I have nice teeth. <laughs> yes, but I like new things. <laughs> it's it's really kind of cool, just just how this all has played out. It seems a very, uh, almost like divine intervention, and you know, for some of this, and we're we're just extremely happy. And yes, for the last several days, we've been doing nothing but like cleaning and I spent doing I, I spent like an hour, and, a good hour, cleaning this wall behind us. Um, yeah, it needed a lot of scrubbing. <laughs> I have, I actually have a giant list of things that I, I need to do. Uh, just so many projects that, that need to get done and some indoor, some you outdoor. You projects too? Yeah. Like slobber she all over right. mommy's shoulder. <laughs> oh. I, don't know, she, I mean, she's just a slobber and fool today. It is nice though that we have like, we're able to just like have photos of her in here as a baby and we'll like in years we'll be able to like, oh, you know when we were here with her and we were just trying to make this into a home yeah. and I don't know it's it's just it's all I think it's all gonna work out yeah we didn't we we had a plan in life we actually did have a plan uh when we moved in with his parents oh, almost like what two and a half years ago we had a plan we were supposed to do something then we were gonna look for a house then we were gonna try to have children and then cancer just dropped on that changed the plan up but you know, as we were talking about this morning, it's like we wouldn't have Elsie if I hadn't gotten cancer, if Very I hadn't true. gone through everything that I went through, um, if we hadn't gone through everything that we've been through together, it just, we wouldn't be in this place we're at now, which we feel like is where we're meant to be. Yeah. 
So agreed. So yeah, if you're again, if you're in a hard time right now, just try to hang on a little bit. Maybe maybe you're being led somewhere that is you know is where you're supposed to be. Hey. Yeah, but sweet girl. I can also tell you that next Christmas in the Croc household yeah. is going to be epic. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a tree it's, in every house. You're gonna, guys. it's gonna be amazing, and we will totally show you all of the stuffs. Uh, I'm just gonna follow Jessica around with a camera and be like, you know, <laughs> here, walk through the house. You can see everything. But is that pretty much it? I think that's it for this one. Okay, uh, you can follow us. No, you can subscribe to the channel. I messed it up. How did I do that? It's New Kitchen. I messed up. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined and click the, uh, the bell that is right next to the subscribe button. You will get notified whenever we post a new video. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram, and you can send us messages on there and we love interacting uh, with you guys and all of your messages and stuff like that. Uh, but I think that's all I got. That's definitely all I got. And I definitely think that's all she's got. Yeah. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Ha 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 ha!